Hello everyone, we will continue the topic background jobs and in the previous videos we are discussing yes how to write a logic for the background jobs whenever we want to go for background jobs through coding we need to make use of three function modules one is job underscore open another is job underscore submit job underscore submit or you can use submit statement also and then you need to use job underscore close and as a part of that we created one program in that program we took two radio buttons one for the foreground and another for the background and yes our logic to fetch the data and display is already in this program. So how we can call this program from this particular program using submit statement and then you can pass the select option or parameters using with. Now we will go for background. It means now we need to shift this program in background. Same to same we have SM36. Now, rather than going for SM36, we will make use of three function module. Same to same thing will be there. Now, what I will do? Now, firstly, I will call the function module job underscore open. If user wants to run the program in the background, Firstly, we will use the function module job underscore open. I will go to pattern button. I will go for function module job underscore open. Now we are getting so many parameters. Now just compare it to SM36 parallelly so that you will understand and clarity will be 100%. In SM36, what you are doing? You are giving the name of the job first. You are choosing the job classification. Now here also, we will give some name to the job. So I will give some name to the job. Suppose I will declare one variable. Suppose I will write LV underscore job name. Now the type of LV underscore job name will be same as that of job name. Here it is exporting. It means in the function module, it will be importing. I'll just cut this and put into the if condition. Because this logic is the part of background. Now I will double click. I will go for yes. Import. So job name is of this type. I will copy. And declare in my program. So I will write data. LV underscore job name type whatever I copy. Now we need to give some name to the job and you all know if I want to assign some value to this variable, how I can assign value is the keyword value. And I will give some name to the job. Suppose I will say the name of the job is order underscore bg. You can give any name to the job. It is totally your wish. Now, rather than this, suppose you do not want to go by this way. If you do not want to assign the value in this way, no problem. You can give like this also. LV underscore job name is equal to, what is the value? Order underscore BG. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Suppose I will go by this way itself. While declaring itself, I am giving the value. 
So I declared one variable which has this value and we are passing. So what is the name of the job? Order underscore PG. You gave same to same thing whenever you are going for SM36. After that, you are going for job classification, job category. Suppose if I will check here, you are able to see one parameter job classification. So suppose you all know we have three A, B and C. Suppose we will also take it as high priority job. So I will go for A. It is totally your wish depends upon the requirement. You can go for A, B or C. Now, now I will simply, simply uncomment the exceptions because it is always, always the best practice. We should always uncomment the exception because if some runtime, if some exception triggered, at least we will not get the runtime error. Now I will uncomment this importing. Now in front of job count, I will write LV underscore job count. Now everyone will ask, what is this job count? You can simply understand it is a unique number of the job. Suppose simple example, we have unique employee ID for the employees. We have unique sales order number. We have unique invoice number. So whenever one batch job will generate, whenever one background job is generating, every background job has a unique number. Now many people will ask in the previous videos, we have not seen the background job number, how we can check. So I will show you. Suppose when you wave, when you uh, define a background job through SM36, when you define, suppose I will show you any of the job. Suppose I will write BG job underscore six or seven, any job. I'll change that date because this was created previously. Now you can see we have this job. If I want to check the job number of this, I will simply go to job log. Have you seen? We are able to see the bad job, background job number. So every background job has a number. And this is what real world is. If 100 jobs are generating, so every job must have a unique number. Same way we are doing here. Now, if we are calling, what is the purpose of job underscore open? We are creating a background job. So we gave the job name. We gave the job classification. So SAP will generate a unique number of the job. So in this variable, we will get the unique number of the job. Whenever the I will show you in the debugging mode, you will understand how unique number is generating. So now I will simply declare this variable. LV underscore job count. Yes, it has the same type as that of job count. Here it is importing. It means in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. And you can see short text is itself ID number of background job, identification of background job. So I will copy and declare in my program. I will write data LV underscore job name type this. I will activate up to this level. Okay, LV underscore job count, sorry. I'll check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? Now we start writing the logic as a part of background. Yes, whenever user will select the background radio button, firstly, we called which function module 
job underscore open in parallel session we opened sm36 so that we can understand very clearly we gave the name of the job and what is the name of the job order underscore bg we take it as a high priority job and we will get the unique job number or we can say background job number unique number of background job in the next video we will simply go for submit and then we will close the job so that's it in this particular video thank you